Welcome to the QMind Academy video tutorial for turning a question grid in a traditional format into an interactive carousel question. To do this, the first thing you need to do is create a grid question. Please see the grid question guide in order to create this. Once you've created a traditional grid question type, such as the example on the screen at the moment, which is QS3F. We can then convert this in one quick step into an interactive carousel. To do this, go to the box in the grid question called Sparkle. Click on the three buttons. Click the option Add New Sparkle. You will then see a searchable list or library of interactive question types. You need to type in the option WYSI grid and select. You will now be presented with a series of default options. You can customize the question by going through each of the options on the screen and selecting or deselecting to suit your needs. All the options are default, meaning you can simply click save and apply the carousel. Clicking on save at the bottom of the screen, we can now see this question has been converted into a carousel WYSI grid. Make sure you save your changes to not lose any of your work. And then you have the ability to view the question through the test link. And you can do this by clicking on the link at the top of the screen, selecting Take Me There, which will open up a test of the survey we've created. We can then go through and locate the question that we have just created as well. You can see the question we've just created is at the bottom of the screen. It is now no longer a traditional grid and is now a carousel. We can see that the options of the statements appear at the bottom and then the frequencies appear at the top. QMind recommends the use of carousels instead of grids as it is proven that carousels are a better survey experience for your respondents. Carousels offer you the same output as a grid, but it offers the survey respondents a much better experience, which means better insights.